So the iOS 11 jailbreak has been out for quite some time now. There's been a lot of developers updating their tweaks for iOS 11, a lot of other new developers coming out and creating their own jailbreak tweaks. And because you guys are enjoying my jailbreak tweak videos, what is up guys, my name is Benjin, here are 10 awesome jailbreak tweaks for iOS 11 part 7. <laughs> Alright, so the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys here is called Swipe for More. Basically, this is for Cydia. So when you're in Cydia and you're searching for tweaks and stuff, you can actually slide to the left and you get a bunch of options here. So you can, you can actually remove the tweak from your queue, you can add it to the queue, and you can just install it just from here, which is pretty cool. And even when you go into your most recently downloaded tweaks, and there's a tweak you actually want to remove, you can just swipe to the left here the X and you can actually queue it to be removed. This next tweak is another tweak for Cydia. It's called Flame and this basically adds features to Cydia that weren't there before. So for example, one awesome feature you can actually add is the ability to add multiple sources at once. So you can tap on batch mode here and if you've copied multiple sources then it'll paste them and it will basically add those repos into your Cydia, which is actually very, very quick and easy. And also, if you're having an issue with your jailbreak and the person who's trying to help you fix it asks you for a tweak list, sometimes it may be hard to note down every single jailbreak tweak you've got. But with Flame, you can actually add this little icon up in the top left corner, where when you tap on it, it will actually ask you if you want to export your tweak list. You can also export your sources or just both so if we tap on both here as you can see it'll give us a full tweak list here every single tweak you have installed it will show on here and if we jump into the flame settings here we can go into options and there's a bunch more you can actually do in here you can change your default page when you launch Cydia usually it's at the featured or home page you can actually have it open on sources changes installed and also search so there's literally tons of different features you can add to Cydia using flame but there's a lot of features in here which I think you guys will really like. This next tweak is a must, must have tweak if you hate Safari and you prefer Google Chrome. This tweak is called Browser Changer 10. And I've recently found out it works on iOS 11. Basically, it'll change your default browser to whatever browser you want. So as you can see, when we receive a text message or something and we open the link, it will actually bring us to Google Chrome instead of bringing us to Safari, which is actually very, very useful if you use Google Chrome as your main browser on your Mac and you want to use it on your iPhone and you want to use handoff with Google Chrome, you have all of your passwords in Google Chrome and stuff. It works perfectly and you can actually blacklist different apps from actually using Browser Changer. I don't really know why you would actually blacklist some apps from opening the link in Google Chrome and stuff. But you have a few different web browsers that you can actually set as your main web browser. I honestly love this tweak because I really, really like Google Chrome over Safari. Apple, you should really copy this from the jailbreak community and actually implement it in iOS 12. This next tweak is super, super useful. It's called Battery Life. And basically, this is a jailbreak tweak that's basically an app where you can actually see your battery capacity. So as you can see, mine's on full. It's on 100%. That's because I've only had this phone for six months. If it were like lower than 100%, I'd actually be worried. And this will also show you the battery temperature and also the discharge current and, and how many charge cycles you've actually gone through. For some reason, it doesn't show up for me. And this tweak is actually pretty useful if you want to know your battery health and if you want to know if your battery needs changing or something. This next tweak is, I think, a must, must have tweak if you use the stock alarm clock. Basically, this tweak is called sleepy time and when you're in your alarms, it will basically add a timer underneath your alarm. So as you can see here, my 6 a.m. alarm gives me a timer of 19 hours. So that means 6 a.m. is in 19 hours. And it's actually very, very useful. It's been working super well. And, and I think it's those little changes around iOS that really make you appreciate jailbreak tweaks because this is something that I would have never thought of and I really find useful. This next week is super, super useful. And I don't know why Apple hasn't implemented this in iOS already. But basically this week is called Never Lower Music. So now my music is playing full blast and when I receive a notification, see, it didn't lower the music because usually, usually in stock iOS, it will lower the music so then you hear that you've received a notification. 
But basically, never lower music will disable that. And there are some people that say that it doesn't work, but you've just seen it here. It works, and it works flawlessly. So this next tweak is called No Low Power Auto Lock. Now, if you didn't know already, when you turn on low power mode, your phone will auto lock after 30 seconds. Right now, I haven't touched my phone in over 30 seconds, and it's not dimming or anything, and it is in low power mode. So it works. It's been working great, and it's definitely a neat little tweak. I love low power mode, but I hate auto lock after 30 seconds. I find that super annoying, and it's great that you can actually fix that using a jailbreak tweak. This next tweak is called no substitute, and you can basically disable substitute from working in certain apps. So a lot of apps on the app store have jailbreak detection and basically every time you open them they'll crash because it detects your jailbreak no substitute essentially disables the jailbreak from running in that specific app but no unfortunately this will not work with fortnite i've tried already and basically fortnite have re-added jailbreak detection for some odd reason so no substitute won't work for fortnite and if you're having some apps that crash when in jailbreak mode just install no substitute Enable that app from not having substitute work in it, and then you're good to go. Here's another very, very cool tweak. It's called Skinny Settings, and basically, you will be able to customize your settings application in a couple of different ways. So, one thing you can do is you can hide the table separators. So, usually in settings, there's like between each setting, there's like dividers and stuff that actually look a little ugly, and you can actually remove them using this tweak to give the settings application a little bit of a cleaner look. You can also remove the third party apps completely from your settings application. And another super, super, super useful and cool thing you can do with this is you can hide that software update and you can basically disable that software update tab. So when you tap on it, you can't open your software update tab. So no more accidental software updates and losing your jailbreak. Very useful. And if we jump into the skinny settings settings here, there is a bunch of different stuff you can actually do from in here. And you can customize your settings so much, you can literally make it super cool and minimalistic. And you can actually tidy up these settings app quite a lot. And the last tweak on my list is Sircube. So Sircube has been around for quite a few years now, and it's recently been updated for iOS 11, and you can do a lot of stuff within the YouTube app. You can do stuff like downloading YouTube videos so you can watch them on the go and choosing like the quality of the video. So that means you can actually download music and listen to it on the go without using any cellular data or even needing a Wi-Fi connection. You can also enable HD on a cellular. You can also enable background playback. So basically it'll still play YouTube in the background even if you're not in the app and if you're on the lock screen as well. You can also choose your startup page here so you can choose your subscriptions, home trending, all that stuff. And there's a lot you can do to actually tweak YouTube to work more for you and add features to it that you couldn't before. And I honestly think it's a pretty cool tweak and it works fine as well. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So there you go, guys. Those were another 10 awesome jailbreak tweaks for your iOS 11 jailbroken device. As always, all of the links, repos, and prices will be in the description below. And of course, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like these, be sure to smash that like button down below. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or anything like that, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you are new around here and you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell next to the subscribe button so then you'll be notified every time I upload a video. You can get to my videos early and you won't miss an upload. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Benjamin. and I'll catch you guys in my next video.